Hey, welcome to Learn Guitar with Drew. Today we're going to take a look at one of the coolest all-time guitar riffs, Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. This is such a great lick. Let's take a look. All right, so what I'm doing here first is I'm kind of playing the vocal part to begin with, where Robert Plant goes, you know, hey, hey, mama part there. So I'm doing that on the guitar. What I'm doing is playing out of the pentatonic scale for A minor in the second position, which looks like this. It's the second position of this scale. Up here. So I'm playing a lick out of that, where the vocals are doing this part. So it's an awesome call and response back and forth from Robert Plant to Jimmy Page for the song. So then he goes on that note. So that's that little negotiable third of the neutral third I talk about. It's in this lesson right here, if you want to take a look at what that is. But that's a blues thing to take the third of the scale and kind of insinuate the major third, but we're not quite getting there. So the lick goes like this. And here I'm playing the blue note. That's the sharp, the, uh, that's the flat five for the blue scale. Or the sharp 11. So if I go, that's the blue note. So Robert Plant's going. And then you hear John Bottom's stick go, tick. Hits a stick for one quick little pop. When he does that, then the lick kicks in. So this might be one of the all-time greatest rock guitar riffs ever. So what we're doing here is playing the A minor pentatonic scale, but it's actually the blues scale, which looks like this. Adding that flat five in. Sharp in this case, he's playing a chromatic note too. The leading tone is like T for a major chord. This note here. So a leading tone in there as well. This note, to treat this note properly, we want to do a slight bend on this one too. Again, it's that negotiable or that neutral third. The best way to get that sound is to go na na. Sort of like that schoolyard taunt sort of thing. So if we break this into thirds, which is what I like to do with students, the first third would be this. Slowly. Now the trick here is to keep your fingers down. So when I play my first finger on the fifth fret of D, the second finger goes down, the first finger stays there. When the third finger goes down, both fingers stay there. That's important. So not kind of just flying off. And then this note to this note. This perfect fourth here, you want to roll your finger this way. So you have to fret the D string further up in your finger, like here, so that you can roll into the next note. Here's the next part. We're going to go. So that's G7, the B5, and a trill. Pick hammer pull, 575. D7 twice, 
back to G5 with that slight bendy. So that third looks like this. Again, there's a roll happening here as well. Playing B and then rolling into G. So we have this for the first part. Now we have. Now the last third looks like this. Position jump there from the fifth fret to the third fret. Fifth position to third position. So that's D5 twice, D7 twice, 5 7 on A, 3 5 on A. This is an A power chord. You're just borrowing your first finger on the second fret across D and G. It's drumming just A D G. Don't play the B string, it'll sound happy. We don't want happy, we want kind of bad, badass on this one. So here's the here's the whole riff together very slowly. If you're enjoying today's lesson on how to play Black Dog by Led Zeppelin, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for the next time that I upload a riff video or a song video, like this one. Very slowly with the right uh, in sort of tone with the notes. And there's that slight thing happening there. Now, as a little bonus, the next part goes like this. So this part is really cool. Now we're going to play the E minor pentatonic scale, the E blues scale, but again with a leading tone. That note's not supposed to be there. Chromaticism. So now we're going to go like this. Roll down again. Play D5 and then A7. Rolling down between these two notes. Now, what's really cool about this lick is we're going to have a change of the accents. We're going to go like this. Then it goes. The accent transfers from seven to six to five. Really cool. So it goes like this. So it kind of sounds like a different riff each time when the accent's changing. That's so neat. So let's do the first vocal part first very slowly, and then the middle riff, and then we'll take a look at how it sounds. Drum stick click. Boop. Drumstick click. Boop. So that goes three times back and forth for that call and response. Listen for that drumstick click. It's really neat. It's a live recording, and that little stick thing was the cue for the rest of the band to kick in to play the thing. Pretty neat. So. Again, the riff, the main guitar part sounds like this. I'll do it again one more time, very slowly. A7 to D5 to D6 to D7 to A7, G5, D7. So the first third is this. The next third is G7 to B5, trill, D7 twice, G5, 
B7, that's the second third. And then the third third is 577, 5-7 on A, 3-5 on A, A power chord. All right, so that's a look at Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page's best riff, possibly? I don't know. Uh, Led Zeppelin 4 might be the best record they made. It may be the best album of all time. I can't really argue that, so this might be the best riff on the best record. Of course, Stairway to Heaven's on that record, too, so you can't like, say it's better than that, but a different, kind of a different animal. Such a great, great lick. So important to learn. If you're a new guitar player, you have to learn. This is one of those recommended riffs that everybody has to learn at some point. It's, it's part of the repertoire, part of our growth process. Um, hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I can't wait to see you in the next lesson.